Oh man, that smells absolutely fantastic. G'day everybody and welcome to my Aussie gardening kitchen. If it's your first time here, my name is Darren, but please call me Daz. And in this recipe, I'm doing lemon and thyme chicken. Now, the reason I'm doing that today is because I've had my parents come from a few hours away and visit and they've given me a big stash of lemons. So great timing because we've got chicken breast out for dinner. So lemon, chicken and thyme it is. Okay, well, the first thing we're doing is we're actually heating up the skillet in the background over there. Now it's just starting to smoke, which is great. So while that's heating up, let's get this chicken into the bowl with its basic ingredients. So I'm just gonna pop three chicken breasts into the bowl. Now the chicken breasts don't have the fillets on them. So I've taken them off and I'll be cooking those separately for one of the kids. And then all I'm gonna do is chuck in half of my amount of salt, get some seasoning, I'm going to chuck in all the cracked pepper because we like our cracked black pepper here. And then we've got thyme. This is thyme that I've ground up in the mortar and pestle. And what I have done there is I've actually dehydrated my own thyme from the garden. Now you can see I've got lemon zest here. I'm going to leave that lemon zest until later on. So now I'm just giving this chicken a bit of a mix. And it might help if I add some olive oil. So let's get some olive oil in there. There we go. And already you can smell that thyme. It smells fantastic. So yep, we're just giving this a really good mix. Getting all the seasoning into the flesh, into all the little nooks and crannies. And that's all there is to it. That's looking pretty good. All right, so now we'll get these into the skillet and we'll char grill them. There's one, there's the next, and we've got a smaller one here that will pop just to the bottom of the pan, like so. Okay, so I don't want to be messing around with this too much. I'm not gonna be shaking it and sliding it around and carrying on, because all I'm doing here is I'm getting a color and lines on the presentation side, and then what will happen when I'm satisfied with the color, I'm gonna flip them over just the once, and then get the color and the flavor onto the base of these ones here. That's it. The actual cooking process is gonna be down below in the oven. So this is just to get some color and some flavor. We'll just have a look now. Yep, beautiful. Quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. And quite happy with that. So there we go. All I've done is I've put them into the pan to get these lines, these markings, and also to get a bit of color. This color is flavor. Now, obviously going too far to black is char and doesn't taste good. But as you can see, I've got this nice dark brown caramelization happening on the surface of the chicken. So now all I'm doing is the same to the underside. And once that's done, as I said, That'll go into the oven, and the actual cooking of this chicken will be done in the oven. It's quite an easy recipe, this one. There's no need to mess around with multiple ingredients, and there's no need to be tossing it around to the pan and turning it all the time and carrying on. Just get it in there and let it color and do its thing. And as I said, just the one turn, that's it. All right, so it's time to have a look at the bottom and see what the bottom looks like. Fantastic, look at that. Quite happy with that. Okay, so the next step is to grab my lemons and squeeze the juice in there. Like so. Oh man, that smells absolutely fantastic. Okay, so what I should have mentioned was that I'm actually only using one lemon. And the second lemon is going to be squeezed over when it goes into the casserole dish. Now, if you don't have fresh lemons, not a problem. <laughs> Oops. If you don't have fresh lemons, you can use this stuff here. The stuff that comes in a bottle. Just give it a shake. 
and pour that in when it comes to the stage where you're squeezing the fresh lemons. You're obviously not gonna be able to grate this and get the rind off the plastic container, something I don't recommend. But yeah, just use this stuff if you don't have lemons. It's still gonna taste pretty good. So I've got that lemon zest. Just get that lemon zest in there. I'm gonna turn off the pan. Okay, so the pan is now turned off. We'll bring over a casserole dish. Okay, so we've got our casserole dish here. We'll take our breasts out. Now, if you wanted to, you really can sprinkle that lemon zest onto the chicken in the casserole dish. You don't have to do it when it's in the pan. And we'll just get that breast like that. Okay, so the casserole dish is ready. Let's just squeeze some more lemon into there. Put the second lemon, like so. Here, I've got some lemons that I've prepared. And let's see how we go. Let's put three lemons on each one. Well, three slices of lemon on each one, I should say. Now, we obviously like our lemon here, so this is a very lemony dish. So by all means, you adjust it to as little or as much as you like. Now, if this is way too much lemon for you, the first thing I suggest is to not worry about the sliced lemon that's placed on top when it goes in the oven. You can skip that step altogether. That's just going to stop from a bit of extra flavor being sent down into the chicken. And the second tip that I can give is that instead of using the two lemons where I squeeze the juice into the pan, just use the one lemon just to get that flavor in there. Now I like to get some aluminum foil. Like so. Get that other side done. Now it's time for the oven. Into the middle shelf, like so. And there we go, that's about 175 degrees Celsius. I'll put Fahrenheit onto the screen for you. And now we'll just let that go for about 15 minutes. All right, well it's time to get it out of the oven. Let's do it. Okay, so let's have a sneak peek. Oh, hello. Oh, it smells fantastic. Really, really nice. Lots of juice in the bottom of the pan there. Yep, that works for me. This is going to be great with just steamed white rice, slices of chicken, some of that juice drizzled over it. That's it, nothing else. There we go. Now we'll slice that. The fragrance coming from those fresh lemons is incredible. Now we do need some of this beautiful juice that it was cooked in. Oh yeah, fantastic. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is my lemon thyme chicken breast. Absolutely delicious and I really need to get stuck in. Okay, so the camera overheated when I was tasting and giving the verdict, but Really, all I was saying was, it tastes fantastic. The lemon is such a fresh flavor. If you like lemons, this is for you. If you don't like lemons, maybe you're not. It is such a good lemon and thyme dish, everybody. And of course, it gets a big Daz approves. Now, two videos are about to pop up just below me, and I'd appreciate if you watch at least one of them after this, 
It just shows YouTube that people are watching my content and it really does help my channel grow. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.